M1 main battle tank built for the United States Army by General Dynamics Land Systems Division features crew survivability, firepower, maintainability, and mobility. Crew survivability is ensured by advanced armor, which is highly effective against missiles and kinetic energy attack. The crew is further protected by armor bulkheads, which separate them from both fuel and ammunition. During tests, a 22-pound mine was detonated under a front road wheel. The basic structure of the tank was not damaged. The crew short-tracked the vehicle in four hours, providing a get-home capability, and the tank was restored to full fighting condition in eight hours. Crew survivability is further enhanced by the automatic six millisecond actuation of the Halen fire extinguisher. Improved accurate firepower has been designed into the M1. The view through the stabilized sight compared with tank motion shows how the fire control system combines high accuracy with fire on the move capability. The loader selects his ammo stowed behind armored doors. He loads in four seconds. The new main gun mount has never experienced a hang out of battery. and efficient digital ballistic computer solves fire control equations and provides built-in fault isolation. It continuously monitors itself and all the fire control components. Should a malfunction occur, it will upon command isolate and identify the failed system. Here the laser rangefinder power supply develops a problem as indicated by the red no-go light. Repair is simple. The electronics box is replaced and the tank returns to action. At direct support, the malfunction is traced to a circuit card. Removal and replacement of the card requires only common hand tools and routine skills. Checkout of the box verifies that the fault has been corrected. The driver checks fluid levels and battery status from his station prior to start. Opening the engine compartment is not necessary. After start, he can check the condition of vital power plant operations. Turbine engine accessories are grouped for ease of maintenance. The hydraulic pump oil filter, oil pump fuel control, and starter are all easily accessible. Suspension maintenance is improved. The vertically hinged skirts open easily and safely. This access to all wheel stations permits road wheel and road arm removal. Broken torsion bars can be removed from either side. Rotary shock absorbers are replaced quickly as integral units. The sealed metal tube protects the torsion bars and rotary shock absorbers from mechanical damage and bilge contamination. Six contractor maintenance personnel using organizational tools and a Goer 10-ton wrecker demonstrated removal of the power pack from the M1 and replacement with another engine transmission combination. After dismounting from the turret, the crew activates quick disconnect fasteners on the rear deck and opens grills. At the same time, a crewman removes access plates on the underside of the rear hull so that the final drive assemblies can be disconnected from the transmission. The combination sling, a part of the special tool set, is used to remove the rear deck and then the power pack itself. All engine compartment electrical, hydraulic, and mechanical interfaces are the quick disconnect type and are grouped functionally. The rear deck is reinstalled and grills fastened while final drives are reconnected. The complete engine transmission change out exercise is completed in 13 minutes 11 seconds. The lightweight turbine power pack and advanced suspension system permit the M1 to surpass current combat vehicles in all aspects of mobility. The M1 can ford streams up to four feet deep with no preparation. The fording kit permits operation in water up to the turret roof.
This tank negotiates vertical obstacles up to 49 inches. Contributing to this capability is the high position of the front idler and lifting effect of the sloped hull front. The M1 can easily cross a trench over 9 feet in width. The stiff suspension and low center of gravity of this 59-ton tank permit controlled stops from high speeds. Drawbar pull tests are conducted on level hard surface roads. The M1's capacity is determined as it pulls a mobile field dynamometer, three load trailers, and an M88 recovery vehicle. Note the stabilized gun as the tank runs the Aberdeen bump course at 35 miles per hour. The M1 has been subjected to this rugged testing repeatedly. Earlier tests of the suspension used the contractor test rig on the Chelsea bump course at 34 miles per hour. Durability tests were conducted on all environmental extremes. The rain and snow of Aberdeen and Chelsea and the heat and dust of Yuma, Arizona. The M1 in the dust bowl at Yuma is tested by following very closely a lead vehicle. The tank can operate in conditions of up to 20 times zero visibility for more than eight hours without noticeable effect on performance. The rugged suspension system of the M1 permits it to operate on a rough cross-country environment at velocities never before obtainable. of the tank to sustain its speed on grades permits higher convoy rates for armor units. Higher speeds also improve fuel economy. Improved crew survivability accurate firepower, built-in maintainability, and superior mobility ensure that the M1 is the finest tank in the world.